On March 14, 2016, Igor Sechin, Rosneft's chief executive officer, pays a visit to Hakuryu 5 drilling rig. The rig is mobilizing 400 kilometers offshore Vietnam in the Nam Con Son Basin, chartered for drilling two exploration wells in Block 6.1 and 5311. These are the first wells to be drilled by Rosneft as operator in international waters. The 2016 Vietnam drilling campaign follows the successes of Rosneft's large-scale offshore projects in Russia, Sakhalin 1 and Pobeda in the Kara Sea, the most northerly well in the world and a major historical landmark in Arctic exploration. Rosneft Vietnam is the country's leading gas supplier for the past 14 years, delivering over 50 billion cubic meters of gas from Block 6.1 and meeting international safety standards. The 2016 drilling campaign takes place in a challenging environment for the oil and gas industry, with many exploration programs in the region having been rescheduled due to the economic climate. This is an excellent opportunity for us to demonstrate to the world our skills and capability. The 2016 exploration program fulfills Rosneft Vietnam's commitment to the government of Vietnam to maintain its long-term partnership and to continue fueling the nation's economic growth. In March 2013, Rosneft acquired Tiang KBP and in doing so obtained three assets in Vietnam. The first is Block 6.1. Here we're the operator and we hold 35% of the equity. Our partners are ONGC and Petro Vietnam. So Block uh, 06.1 asset consists of the uh, Lantai Fuel, Landor Fuel and the Lantai Platform. Located 370 kilometers offshore Vung Tau, with estimated recoverable reserves of 66 billion cubic meters of gas. In 2015, Block 6.1 proudly marked 13 years of safe and reliable operations, during which 300 million barrels of oil equivalent were produced, providing about 20% of the country's power generation. For these achievements, Rosneft Vietnam was honored with the Labor Order Second Class by Vietnam's State President. We also have a 32% share in the Nam Con Son pipeline, transports gas in Lante and Lando gas fields back to shore to the Dinko gas processing terminal. The land phone over there, far from here, about 9 km, at Long Hải Beach, and gas uh, come from uh, offshore to land phone and to our zinc terminal. The Zinco terminal separates condensate from the gas arriving from Lante platform. The condensate is stored and exported via the TVI port, while the gas is piped to the Fumi power complex. Nam Con Son pipeline is transporting gas from four offshore blocks with a total volume of seven billion cubic meters per annum fueling about 25% of Vietnam's power generation. The challenges for us in production from Block 6.1, um, which is now in depletion, is to increase the recovery factor as far as possible so that we can maintain supply for as long as possible um, from the Lante field. In order to compensate for the decline from producing fields in the block, the Phong Lan Dai Deep structure is explored to find additional reserves. PLDD-1X well, located about 20 kilometers northeast of Lante platform, has a design depth of around 1,380 meters at a sea depth of about 162 meters. The third asset we hold is Block 5311, and here we're 100% shareholder. This is an exploration play. This is the first uh, experience of Rosneft like operator. Preparation starting with geological studies. Located northwest of Block 
and in a water depth of 80 to 150 meters, Block 5311 has reservoir depth between 2,800 to 5,000 meters. In 2013, Rosneft conducted 3D broadband seismic acquisition in the block. Subsequent interpretation of seismic data and further geological studies has identified Kanchon Te Bak as the most promising structure for exploration drilling. This is a seismic cross section uh, where uh, you can see these bright yellow spots, which are potential gas accumulations, and you can see some others, you know, in, in this area. So this is this prospect, which which is potentially gas bearing zone here and uh, based on our analysis we have placed our first well exploration well in this area and here this is our position japan drilling company jdc was contracted for the drilling campaign its hakuryu 5 drilling rig is capable of accommodating 150 crew anchoring in 1600 feet of water and drilling to 30,000 feet Currently what we are doing with the rig is loading already a rig uh, mob to the Wumtau in 15th of February, according to the schedule. Everything is going quite well. On February 18, 2016, Rosneft Vietnam's management team visited the Hakuryu 5 rig stationed offshore Wumtau to make final checks, making sure that the rig was ready to go. My uh, main uh, target and job objective is to uh, design uh, the drilling uh, of the wells uh, upcoming in blocks uh, 6.1 and 5311. For Rosneft Vietnam, the last three years have been very active with preparation works. From processing and interpretation of seismic data, geological studies, selection of well location, budget approval, and procurement. All teams have worked in an integrated fashion to come up with the most efficient and cost-effective design for the wells. The main focus right now, just before we mobilize, is to make sure that everything is ready for operations. Uh, a large component of that, of course, is the drilling rig. So uh, the rig is now in uh, very good shape. It's looking uh, very clean and tidy, ready for operations and uh, obviously we look forward to a very successful and uh, safe campaign. In terms of safety, JDC and Rosneft both have an excellent record. Their commitment for the campaign is no accidents, no harm to people and no damage to the environment. Both teams have worked hand in hand to manage safety on board, including pre-job safety meetings, work permissions, and behavioral-based safety observations. Part of my role is to ensure that all personnel, whether JDC, third party, or Rosneft, uh, comply with these systems. Throughout the preparation, Vungtau Supply Base and Lante Platform have been the lifeline for the drilling campaign, offering onshore and offshore support. Uh, we got all equipment uh, stored here for the drilling campaign. We got uh, two vessel supply uh, for support the drilling, and uh, we load all this equipment into the vessel. This takes about 400 kilometers to the location for drilling. We can provide the uh, uh, heli deck and chopper activities to S5 in case of emergency uh, evacuation, we can supply our standby vessel to S5 drilling rig if required. The, all checks have been done and all the equipment is now being loaded onto the rig uh, and we should be moving off shortly. This exploration program is important to Rosneft because it will enable us to maintain our commitment to the Vietnamese oil and gas industry and it will also enable us to maintain our position it's the number one gas producer for Vietnam. From March to June 2016, the drilling of the two wells, PLDD and CCTB, follow the same sequence of activities. 
starting with the SPUD on PLDD on March 8. Budding consists of drilling the first hole in the seabed to prepare the gateway to the well. Now just the uh, soon stub in the uh, 26 inch hole. After this, the, uh, we will uh, plan is the uh, drill hole to the uh, 85 meter. Then after this, we we'll set the uh, 36 inch casing. Running of the BOP marks a new step in the drilling operation. These blowout preventers are the rig safety device, comprising of imposing valves that prevent the gas from surging back from the wells in the unplanned event of a well control incident. The wells are designed to mitigate any risks associated with well control and the BOPs are the additional insurance in these events. Once the BOP was installed on the seabed, the wells were drilled to the target where they became ready to be tested. Testing the wells necessitated the whole team's full attention. This was the hidden part of the iceberg, as only the water cooling of the boom flare was visible. safe campaign. The amount of new people we've brought into the campaign, the amount of operations we've done from wire line to tubing to a now a well test, safely, incident free, environmental friendly, can't ask for much more than that. Very successful job. After three years from preparation works to drilling execution, the Rosneft Vietnam Drilling Campaign 2016 is a success. The project was delivered on time, within budget, and with an excellent safety record. The successful drilling campaign is one more step in Rosneft's journey to become a leader in oil and gas production and will enable it to continue to be a reliable partner in Vietnam.